<laughs> oh my god, honey, I am so sorry I am late. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Just let me finish this clause. Oh my god, how <laughs> is the new novella going? Oh, you know, characters, etc. <laughs> <laughs> and will we be drinking anything this evening? Um, I'll, I'll have a Merlot. And, uh, a Merlot sounds great, thanks. And I shall also be having a Merlot, so that's one, two, uh, three Merlots all together. Anything else before I return to the kitchen to tell the winesmen of your wine orders? Uh, no, no, just the Merlots to drink. <laughs> yes, yes, just the Merlots to drink. Then retire to the kitchen. I shall, good day. Again, I am so sorry I'm late. I thought I'd be able to get off work early today, but right as I was ducking out, my boss came in and she said, who is gonna perform life-saving open-heart surgery on all these children's if you ditch again? Jealous bitch. <laughs> Man, I am astounded they haven't fired you yet. I guess when you have a way with kids like I do. You really do. <laughs> hey, you remember when we had to watch your sister's kids two years ago? And you told them that if they didn't eat their veggies, their teeth would fall out? <laughs> or when I told them that if they didn't go to bed on time, their teeth would fall out? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know, crying aside, that turned out to be a bizarrely successful way to motivate children. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of bizarre, and not to be rude, of course, but what is up with this dinner? I mean, we hardly ever go out on weeknights, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I get a call to come down to fettuccine? Uh, you got me. Uh, okay, well, I was uh, gonna wait till the weekend. Oh my god. Um, but um, I just kept getting so nervous, and you know, I figured, well, now or never, so. Uh. Todd, Todd. What are you saying? Are you... Liz, I think we both know this is something that uh, has been, well, a long time coming, and uh, the words are just, they're starting in my stomach, and they're, and they're bubbling oh up into my esophagus. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so terribly sorry that this is I, the waiter, have interrupted a very important little moment. Yes. yes. Is it the Malos? He's proposing. We're getting a divorce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Divorce? Did you just say you think I'm proposing? Well, yeah! The fancy wine, the fancy restaurant, the fancy waiter. That all screams proposal, Todd! Uh, how does that scream proposal, Todd? It, we're, we're just in a restaurant. It, it only screams restaurant. <laughs> and to me, it, it also screams divorce. <laughs> like, like the divorce that I'm asking you for. Todd, baby. Just because your proposal isn't going well doesn't mean you need to ask for a divorce. <laughs> okay, Liz, we've been married for 12 years. Your brother calls me Big Todd. Why on earth would I propose to you? To be spontaneous, you little devil, you. Spontaneous? What does that even mean here? I, I... Spontaneous. Spontaneous! <laughs> yeah, spontaneous! You know, fun and quirky. Okay, uh, spontaneous isn't always fun and quirky. Well, it is fun sometimes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, apple picking is fun sometimes. Uh, shadow puppets are fun sometimes. Uh, m my new novella is, is fun sometimes, uh, though at other times tragic. Uh, it's, it's a laughy sobby kind of book. I could, uh, I'll read it later. Um, the, the point is, Liz, your, your demand for spontaneity is just stressful. So you're divorcing me because I asked you to be a little spontaneous sometimes? No, Liz, I'm divorcing you because for the past 12 years, every little thing I do, you interpret as a, a part of an elaborate proposal scheme. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me one bit. Okay, um, remember when we, when we went to the zoo? Oh, like it was yesterday. Uh-huh. And you, uh, you wanted to lean into, you lean your little face into the tiger exhibit. To get a better view of the jungle creatures. Yeah, and I said, uh, hey, honey, Maybe don't put your face so, so close to those face-munching jungle creatures. Do you remember what you did next? Yeah. I looked at you in your big, moist eyes and... And then you jumped in the pit, Liz. You, you hopped in and you said, are you hiding the ring in one of these tiger mouths? <laughs> it was a 20-foot fall, but you tucked and rolled and said, I do! And it was the most perfect mix of athleticism and misreading of social cues I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, now, now that you mention it, I never did find that ring, Mr. Todd Brown. You're such a good hider. If you took half the energy you would put into proposing to me literally all the time and put it into your writing, you'd be the next Ernst Hemingway. I'm telling you. Is that why you think my novels don't sell? Because I'm too busy concocting and then enacting <laughs> elaborate proposals to you? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, I am telling you. I, I never have 
and never will propose to you. Never? Really? What about 12 years ago at the Red Sox game when you had it say, will you marry me up on the billboard? We did get married a couple weeks later, Todd. Liz, that sign said, happy birthday, Joey. Mm. I, I, I didn't even know you at the time. We just happened to have two seats next to each other at a Red Sox game. And then you saw that and went, I do! And we started making out. And, we did. You know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, especially if it's kissing you. So I, I, and I went with it. And, and now I realize that that was a bigger mistake than majoring in literary theory. That was such a special day. Kind of reminds me of tonight in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, yes. Liz, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Oh, I know what okay. it is! Oh, yeah, 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 you sure do. Um, <laughs> given the fact that I'm not proposing to you, okay. am I proposing to you? Of course! Okay, how would you answer that question, of course? Uh, for one thing among many, the fancy waiter. I am very fancy. <laughs> He's just a fancy waiter, Liz. Lots of restaurants have fancy waiters nowadays. Chili's does not have a fancy waiter. Well, we're not at Chili's. <laughs> oh my god. We're not at Chili's, Todd. <gasps> Todd, are you proposing to me? <laughs> Liz, just because we're not at Chili's doesn't mean I'm proposing to you. By that logic, everyone here is proposing to literally everyone else here. Oh my god. <laughs> clear for you. Uh -huh. And then I'm probably gonna leave. <laughs> to spend the night with your brand new fiance? Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. Liz, uh, I, I have stayed with you for the past 12 years because miraculously you are the best child surgeon in literally the entire world. I am. Whereas I am a failed author who cannot support himself Financially, or emotionally, for that matter. My last book had negative sales on account of the sheer volume of people who just stormed into bookstores and burned them right off the shelves. They, they, they didn't even attend one of the many, many public book burnings that were inspired by just, what's the style of my writing? But I've reached a point in my life where, well, uh, enough is enough, so... I'm not being spontaneous. This is not a proposal, and you and me, we're getting a divorce. This is a strange way to start a proposal, but please continue. Okay, fuck it, fuck it, uh, waiter. Okay, uh, Liz, uh, I've, I've tried shooting as many words as I can at you, but like the general public, you're just not getting my message, so. <laughs> waiter, please propose to my wife. Certainly. Liz, <laughs> these past few years have been some of the best of my life. Oh, wait a Let me finish. Okay. I know, I know I haven't always been the best to you, and I know your father-in-law would never approve of our love, uh. but I don't give a damn what Harold thinks. I don't care what anyone thinks. I love you, Liz. I've loved you ever since I saw you down by the bayou, catching catfish with your bare hands. <laughs> I saw you and I said, Lord have mercy, that is the woman I'm going to marry. And here we are 20 years later, not a day was it for it. And maybe I'm just rambling on like some kind of dingo on a corn in a sandstorm. My mind being out of shape like a boomerang going nowhere. But I can't help myself, I'm just saved in love. Oh, waiter! Liz, will you make me the happiest man in the world? And marry me. Yes, yes, a whole bunch of times, yes! <laughs> Bienvenidos, mis hermanos. <laughs> oh man, looks like Chef Linguini is about to make his favorite dish, a little something I like to call Maragini Restaurante. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chef Linguini. Oh, anything for my wait staff and the fine patrons of Fettuccini's Modern Italian Bistro. Now, woman, do you take this waiter to be your lofty <laughs> wedded husband? I do. <sighs> And waiter, do you take this woman to be your loftily wedded waitress? I do. Well, then by the power vested in me in the state of Vermont in this fine, fine dining establishment, I pronounce you both waiters, you may kiss the waitstaff. <laughs> 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 
Jack, please! <laughs>